This is going to be short, I hope, because it's about Oculus and there's some academic papers behind it. But we're going to talk about uh, OBR scene in today's not so critical update. So yeah, OBR scene. I had a chat with a guy the other day from UCO, which is the University of Columbia, I want to say. I, I can't remember. Colorado. Some place we're going to see. Anyway, whatever. This is a project they're doing called OBR scene um, as a, like a paper, proper academic paper. And they're decrypting the packets that are being sent by uh, an Oculus Quest over the internet. And they're looking at what information is included in there. Turns out, I know, to everybody's amazement, it's 60 to 70% more data than they really need to be sending, and it's all being used for, to track us, uh, which is just horrible, really. And for uh, people that don't know, the Oculus Quest is a virtual reality headset. <laughs> Look at John explaining it. Owned by, owned by Meta, formerly known as Facebook. Yeah. I'm a big Fresh fan. Company. Very good. And totally good. conflicted about it because I love the Oculus Quest. It, it, it's not going to be called the Oculus. It's going to be called, going to be called the Meta Quest soon. Actually, I, I keep putting mine Cringe. on, and I, I'm waiting for the Facebook logo to go away. And I still have to log in with my Facebook account. Wait, but whatever. when you log in, you see a Facebook logo? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know, I used, I got to play with the development yeah, immediately kit gone off the story. It didn't even take, like, <laughs> no, no, no. 30 seconds. No, 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 it's, no, it's still about it. It's still about it. It's still about it. It's still about it. I promise. I oh, promise. Okay. I right, got right. to play with the DK1, the, the first development kit of the Oculus. Ooh. And it was Lassie so da. cool. This was like seven years ago, eight years ago, maybe even. It was so cool. I was so blown away. I got to actually do this demo. It was like homebrewed demo Star Wars. Um, uh, uh, what do you X-wing fighter go blow up the the what do you the the, the Death Star? Anyway, yeah, my point I mean, is, sounds I was it was sick. I was super impressed. And then Facebook bought Oculus. I know. And that's when I was like, not impressed anymore. And yeah. said, I don't want to use this technology. And I keep seeing really cool things, but I know <sighs> that Facebook sucks. They force you to like log into it through their face, through your Facebook account. I know. It's hard. Already big no for me there. Yeah. And now after you link that, this white paper, this, yeah. this report, yeah. On all the bullshit that they're doing. Pretty cool. Yeah. Decrypting the traffic, viewing yeah, where yeah, they're yeah. sending it through. This guy, um, guy really good work. This guy I spoke to Hugh Lay, um is is from that University of Colorado. Um <laughs> and he he was he was super nice. He is uh, they're doing some actually some very cool things about automatically detecting ads and blocking them and other stuff. But this is a paper that they're gonna publish it. Uh, they, yeah, they're gonna put it out there. They published it. Um they can present it at Use Next 2022, which is like August, big kind of tech conference. Um, and it, the, the stuff that they discovered, so the 60 to 70 percent of, of data which shouldn't, which is unnecessary, um, lots of apps which are completely, you know, just ignoring any kind of privacy policy or anything that the the, the end user has agreed to. Um, and there was one other big thing as well, which I've forgotten. And it's all open source, so you can actually do this yourself if you want to install it locally and have your um, traffic proxy through it. You can have a look at what data is being sent about you. Very and knowing cool. all this and how I bad it really it. is, yeah. you're still yeah. using it. Yeah. It's so almost my next question would be... You say yeah, you care, think, but you don't. Yeah. Well, I do care, and I have accepted the risk. I have exercised, my favorite word, agency. All right, all right. I hear you. Fair all right, enough. Um, Agent Do Peter. you hear me, Mike? Do you? Because I have a sneaking suspicion that just... it's going in one ear and out the other. Yeah, I just... Well, you're My... you're voting with your dollars, and you're giving Facebook incentive to make the change by not... oh wait by using their thing continuously. So. Not make Keep at change. it, and I'm sure they'll get the message, and they'll change their behavior yeah. because it's no, going to be well, here's what, here's No, what the, space, the space is vacuumed right now. Yeah. Right? Exactly. There's, only, there's only Oculus, and then there's the Quest, the 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 the, 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 Valve Index. the Quest. What am I saying? Oh, the Valve I think Index. you're forgetting the yeah. Microsoft HoloLens. 
No, two different things. <laughs> two different things. The HoloLens. I actually had to look up what the reality. HoloLens was because I thought didn't Microsoft have something that they were putting together? No, there's not, there's a, not the there's same. A, yeah, there is actually, by the way, weirdly, there's actually a Chinese uh, competitor to the Oculus, and it looks like, identical. It uses even the same chip, and apparently it has essentially the same uh, user experience. It's just because China can't really, uh, don't really accept the Oculus. So there's, there's a huge market gap for right. that. They have, well, yeah. because it's being sent to American servers, and China yeah. needs it to be sent to Chinese servers. Yeah. So what the, I'm waiting for is a competitor that isn't fucking Facebook or yes. China. The and second one of those drops, I'm buying it, and well, I won't say I'll throw it out the window, but no, but we need compatibility, right? That's the whole problem with it. No, right now. no, 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 no. Oh, well, compatibility is not because the, the, the reason the the quest is so revolutionary, I think, is it doesn't have any cables. It's not something you oh. connect to a computer. It's it's quite low powered, and the yeah. the um you know it's a sort of about the same sort of CP, you know power you get from a mobile, mobile phone. Yeah. yeah, exactly. But you can stick it on your head. There's no cables, and it's it's consumer uh, priced as well. So it's three hundred right. bucks or whatever. You can have it, it. The games have to be a bit more inventive with how they work, but that's cool. You know, it's still more powerful than a, like a PlayStation One probably. So it's um yeah. So if it's, there's it's demand, remove all the rough edges. That's what I'm. Thinking. So why isn't there an, an alternative? Because Facebook bought Oculus right at the beginning. Oculus was fairly revolutionary with the technology at the time. And this is the Oculus Quest 2. So it's the second generation where they've had a chance to... Uh, well, and nobody's no, no, quite there caught was up yet. DK1, DK2, Oculus Rift, Quest, Quest 2, right? Like yes. there's a lot of iterations that they've gone through. Right. Um, but if there's demand DK's for an for alternative, why isn't there one on the market? There isn't. I don't believe that there is a demand yet. Virtual reality is still a niche. You go to, you yeah. know, our Oculus on Reddit. I don't even think they've broken a million subscribers. Like, yeah. Uh, it, last time, at least, it's been years. Last time I checked on our Oculus, it was two, three hundred thousand, and each post had like a hundred, two hundred, maybe three hundred upvotes, like high, high, high upvoted posts. So, this is a niche. This is niche. This is early. It's extremely early, extremely young technology. We're not there yet. We are not there yet because, and we might not actually ever get there. It might become the the PC gaming of things. No, where... I, no. I think that, that's not true. That at all. Sorry, I totally disagree with that. <laughs> I'll, I'll, tell you, absolutely... I'll tell you why. I'll tell you why I think I'm right. We're all going to be wearing what you guys are wearing on your faces. That's what's going to be the difference. It works what, so well for Google. A winning smile? <laughs> no. Oh, I like that you both smiled there, though. That was very nice. Um, no. How can you not smile Glasses. when Peter smiles? Augmented yeah. reality. Augmented reality is what will what will trump everything else. Because augmented reality could be virtual reality. It just okay. depends on the opa uh, on the on the uh, opa opacity. Listen, I, I know Thank we you. have a we have a couple of uh, ongoing bets already. And and this is probably a little bit further in the future. I'll put it in the calendar for the next ten years. But I think you're wrong. Oh, you think, think VR will beat AR? No, I think they both coexist. But I think that the the that VR will become really big. I think we will end up wearing much smaller things on our faces for VR. But the the, the escapism element of it is still going to be uh, really attractive. <clears throat> so the augmented and I reality. Think, I think the enhancement is what's going to be even more attractive. Mm. I think AR will be the superior technology to the point where gamers will have VR, will have whole VR suits like in Ready Player One uh, with haptic feet feedback. Yeah, and, but that's not augmented. You know, that is VR. Yeah, I know. That's... And it's going to be a niche. And augmented reality is what's, uh, what every user is going to have. What every, mm, okay. what every person walking down the street, on the train... Just like a smartphone, everyone will have AR glasses, and they will be just as low profile as what you guys are wearing right now. Within the next I, ten years, I don't think that's going to eliminate the desire for or demand for full VR. No, not at all. No, no, no. That's not what I'm saying. I'm not saying that VR is going to not exist. I'm just saying that it, augmented reality will be the smartphone, and VR will be the gaming computer. Mm. No. Nah. Mm. Okay. I don't know. Maybe. I just want the holodeck. Yeah, that would be cool. 
Yeah. Hollow deck. From Meta. Hollow. <laughs> yes, it's going to be. <laughs> you know what? For a few seconds, then I was genuinely thinking, yeah, Hollow deck. And then you cracked my my reality there. It just shattered my little dream world. <laughs> like your optimism. By just saying started Meta. Started to peek through. No, no, it was an, it was like uh, hitting a, a pane of glass with a with a chisel, and the whole thing just going yeah, yeah. like this. You just you asshole, honestly. What you don't want Mark greeting you every morning? Dream killer. Oh God, he. Uh, you Good guys morning, saw, Peter. Yeah, right. You saw the um, you saw the 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 intro to the 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 metaverse that they want to create. Like, I mean. His how what a creepy asshole that guy is, and in mocking him. Oh God, wow! No, Mark, Mark is so detached, not understanding. Like, and he was joking about weird. himself being. He's like, oh hey, ha, I thought you were the robot, Mark. <laughs> but no, even I that was, was creepy. <laughs> yeah, everything that's... about him. It's like you can see computations running. Yeah. You know, processing, yeah. processing. Ding. It's like artificial intelligence. Literally, that's what it feels like when you're it's like not, watching it's this. It's artificial guy. unintelligence. I don't know what I it don't is. know how I, I don't know. He's so detached. It's so funny. Love it. 